Hi viewers, today I'm going to be talking about the MaxiPro MP808TS which I've had for about a week now. So this is my first full initial review. I'll cover this review in two parts. First is going to be about the general interface of the device and secondly would be hooking it up to the vehicle and doing a couple of basically exploring what this device is capable of and um, maybe doing a couple of tests. Let me know in the, in the comments if there are any specific tests you would want me to do. Perhaps as we go through some of the functions that I'm not able to cover on this video, just let me know and I'll be happy to cover those on a subsequent video. Just to say that I may not fully explore, you know, the TPMS capabilities of this device. I think that's better left for a separate video so that I can go in depth and cover what it does and what it doesn't do. This is really, really feels solid and I feels agronomic, very good to hold in the hands. I love this rubberized grips. So go ahead to power on the device. So that's the power button. USB, you could plug in your flash drive, HDMI, memory card slot, on the go cable. So you either charge the device through here or you can make a wired connection to oops to this the maxi vci mini which is what it uses to connect to the vehicle here on the reverse side of the device you have of course the holder for this so let me just show you really nice fits well you have this kick out stand which is really good if you have this on the table or if you want to hang this on your steering off of your steering wheel really works well um, depending on the design of your steering of course it's on you unlock this way the first thing that hits you is this uh, interface which is the interface for the maxi pro app so basically this is an android tablet right it's an android tablet runs on um, android i think 4.4 so if I click on this button, right, it takes me to just like your everyday tablet. So, and these are all the softwares in, installed on it. This is the Autel software, the MaxiPro software. Really, that's what does all the work. So it's basically, you can go to the Android store and install any um, additional apps that you want to see on this tablet. So this is... Um, diagnostics so if you want to diagnose a number of things in the vehicle you start from the hit the there uh, here is for you know a couple of services that you can do like turning off maintenance uh, reminder lights and a whole lot more you do that through here um, brake bleed and, and co and so on and so forth tpms here data manager managing all the data um, you know, diagnostic data and all of that. Settings. This is settings for the Maxi Pro app. And then here's updates. So you do your updates through here. Let me cover this strip you have down here. So obviously, this is the back button. This home button is for um, going back to the menu, which is, yeah, here. Um, Maxi Pro app. Right. Here is. So here is like, you want to see what's holding on the RAM. Forgotten the word for it. Maybe I'll, that, that will come to mind later. Uh, so this is Chrome, Google Chrome. So if you want to go on the internet, you tap on that. Here is taking a screenshot. You just hold and it takes a screenshot for you. It doesn't do screen recording, so you can't record your screen from here. You probably need an, uh, an additional Android app to do that. Here is a dedicated button to go to the, irrespective of where you are, once you push this button, you're back to this Maxi Pro app. VCI indicates whether it's connected to the vehicle or not. This one is, I think these are, okay, good. So this is just connectors so this tells you all the vehicles that you're able to connect to it's basically the diagnostics button so it's the same thing as that here is service functions so what we talked about earlier so you either press here or you go here tp here is tpms which um, is 
is the same with this. Yeah, here Bluetooth, Wi-Fi and all the rest, right? So this is the first. So second screen, you have the VCI manager, which manages the connection between tablets and the dongle that I showed you earlier. Support is for online support from Autel. The Academy simply takes you, so you would need to have uh, Wi-Fi and it simply takes you to question and answer, basically, Q&A. Uh, remote access, so similar to would, as, as you would have on computers, you're able to have a professional support through remote access. Quick links, basically links to a number of sites, all data and all whatnot. Um, maxi fix this is a documentation of you know fixes so it's basically an online community of other users of hotel products so you'd find common fixes there so basically you use the function viewer to find out what the hotel products you know the various hotel products that you have what they're capable of so if i want to find out for example what systems this scanner is able to access in you know for a particular vehicle i would use this function viewer but you have to be connected to the internet um, which i'm not at the moment but basically you select the the autel tool right i'm on mp ts which is my model you select the vehicle and then it pulls up basically gives you a list of the systems the vehicle is able to access and then shop manager uh, basically if you run a shop like you want to log customer basically keep a database for your for your shop so those are or that's the basic interface interface of the maxi pro app now we'll go ahead to hook this up to the vehicle and run a couple of tests i've already plugged in the vci to the vehicle and that's why you have this green check here so um, right we'll go ahead to diagnostics so one thing I would love to cover is um, so this top tab right this is this takes this button takes you back to the maxi pro app right so this is auto connect if you want to automatically identify the VIN you press this this basically shows you all all the vehicles that the device is capable of diagnosing so if you press on US shows US market European European market Asian the Asian market you can use this search function to search for a particular vehicle history takes you to all the scans you've done so I've done quite a couple of scans and I think we'll have an opportunity to explore what a scan result looks like using the Autel app. So I'm in a Honda, this is a Honda. So I'm not going to do automatic selection. Uh, so I've tried to use the automatic feature to select the vehicle through the VIN number, but it doesn't work for my model for some reason. I've used it on other cars, 2008 Corolla, Camrys, um, Honda Accords and, and other re more recent Honda Accords. So I'll just go to system selection. While that's coming up, I'll cover this this tab that you have here because that's something new. So M takes you back to the Maxi Pro app. This icon here basically is an exit. If you want to exit um, this button, this is settings for the Maxi Pro app. That's print, printing, help, save and um can't remember what this is yeah can't remember that anyways well let me go ahead so you select the year 2003 so and it loads the honda diagnostic system so i'll go to so diagnosis hot function service vehicle profile Let's do diagnosis. So under diagnosis, there are two ways of doing this. There's the auto scan, which basically scans all the modules in the car. It takes a little bit of time. Um, and then you can 
either you do that or you go to scan individual control units so i'll show you i'll use the history um feature when i back out of this um, to show you what an auto scan result looks like so for now I'll just go with the control unit so these are all the control units that the, um, this device is capable of so what you see would be dependent on the vehicle you're connected to so this is because this is a Honda and all these options you have here it doesn't necessarily mean that your that all the systems are supported in the vehicle because um, you know this is a 2003 um, car and I think it basically has has a couple of modules but but not all this like it doesn't have electronic power steering EPS for example so if you go in there it's going to tell you function is not supported it doesn't have TPMS as well right okay so let's let's do engine right so we have um so that's what it's able to do in terms of the engine ecu right so has access to um a couple of all these things you have your live data as you would have in other um you know other scanners right so you're able to see all of the live data uh hmm fuel trim fuel trim ratio 29 let me see let me start the vehicle. okay it goes to 14.7 which is what it should be um, yeah so misfire monitors um, So has all these things, solenoid valves and so on and so forth. So let me back out of this. Uh, so let's see active tests. So idle adjust, evap test, variable timing control, solenoid test, IACV test, O2 sensor, AC clutch, fuel pump, injectors. So this is this is really good. Yeah. So basically, you could use this to activate or deactivate injectors for a particular cylinder. Typically, when you're you know troubleshooting a misfire that is caused by, let's say, a misfire that is caused by the injectors. So. If an injector is not spraying well and you stop that particular injector from functioning you would notice that the you know the vibration in the vehicle wouldn't be that much but if you stop an injector that that is actually functioning well the tone of the vehicle is going to change significantly so that's that's one thing that is good uh, no so I don't want to stop all the injectors escape Let's go to transmission. So this is the transmission. Um, let's see live data. So it gives you access to a bit of engine data as well. But then it starts going into more transmission specific stuff. So command from the ECU and the actual uh, response from the transmission um, solenoids shift solenoids these are solenoid valves uh, the ATF temperature switches status of switches all the switches in the transmission gives you access to a whole lot um, maybe I just start the vehicle to see so right so right now you begin your you start you're seeing the live data from the transmission yeah 
So let's leave that. Um, so let's see the immobilizer system. And one thing I like about this scanner in general is that when you're doing a function that for which the vehicle shouldn't be running and the vehicle is running, it's going to give you that um, alert here to, you know, to start or to stop the vehicle. Special functions. So these are some of the special functions you're able to do. Add and delete keys, replace immobilizer retriever. Receiver control units, replace e PCM, ECM. Um, system check, number of keys, status log. So let's do this. So let me check. So the three keys are registered um, and that's correct. Yes, keep. So a really good scanner has quite very good um, coverage. Which other system should I check? Uh, right, let me do SRS. Live data. So and that's the live data. So diagnostic trouble codes, you know, past or present codes in the latch, or that's the seatbelt seat belt buckle, um, all those things. And actually, if you scan a vehicle that has been in an accident, it's going to give you quite a bit of codes. I have an example scan that we could look at. Um, yeah. So let me go ahead and show you what a... Sorry. Right. So one other thing, right, that you that I'm going to cover is that. So it doesn't do um, two diag. It's able to multitask, but it wouldn't multitask two diagnostic processes at the same time. So you would need to. You would notice that. So if I go back to home right and I press diagnostics it's going to bring me back here so to start another diagnostics process I need to escape or exit this particular one um, you know before before I'm able to start a new one one good feature this has is you know once you exit it will start beeping and asking you to remember to take the VCI from the pot which is really cool i've had to forget my i forgot my little obd um, bluetooth scanner in a number of vehicles on a couple of occasions so that's a, a good one something i didn't cover eobd um that's right here so let's look at what a full scan looks like go to history uh let me look at I scanned a 2017 Accord, right. So this 2017 Accord, so basically it runs through all the systems that the, the modules that the car has. So engine, ATA, a, automatic transmission there, and then gives you a, a summary of all the codes so as you can see, the SRS um, had 16 codes. And then beneath that, it starts giving you the details. So on the engine, um, it had all these codes and it also tells you the status. So some of these are permanent codes while some are temporary. So, um, so as you can see, the first one is permanent and this one right here is the temporary um, code for this permanent one. So basically, you'd uh, 
discard it. So te temporary codes could be something the vehicle is trying. The EC is still trying to make up its mind on whether this is really a fault before it illuminates the check engine light. So it moves on to the SRS. Um, more. Press this more button. Gives you all the codes that were present in the S and the um, supplementary restraint system. So airbag inflator. Um, all those things yeah so this was basically an accidented vehicle so and that's why you have a lot of these impact sensors um, you know airbag inflator and so on and so forth so that's what a full scan looks like um, I'll show you and you can actually if you want to you can make produce a PDF report you can email you can print um, if you're connected to your computer uh, so that's what your full scan report looks like or all systems scan so that's it on this video thank you very much I hope this was helpful and see you on the next video cheers